Hey, buddy, Sam back once again with another budget phone for unboxing today. This one's very different, but it's also very similar, I guess. Price range, we're talking about $150, £110 currently on Amazon UK. A bargain, I will tell you that straight away, a bargain for what you are getting. So we're going to unlock, un unlock it, we're going to unbox it today. So it does come in two separate boxes, so if you order it from Amazon, you get the actual phone in a box, and then the charge comes separately in a little box here. It's a standard charger, so I'm not going to unbox that today, but if you're from Europe, you'll get a European one, this is a UK one, because obviously I'm from the UK. And if you're from America, I'm going to guess you get an American one. Yeah, I should imagine so. So, you ready to have a look at this bad boy? It is called the THL T7. Now, I'm, I'd never heard of the company before, straight out of the bat, I didn't have a clue who they were. But I'm kind of impressed by what you're getting for not a lot of money. Again, £110. Remember that as we're going through the specifications. So here is the box. It just says THL Smartphone. Again, very kind of plain. Tells you the actual website there. If you go to en.thl.com.cn. Nothing around there. Nothing there. And guess what? Nothing there either. On the back of the box, it's got the main specifications. So as you can hopefully see just about there. We are looking at a 5.5 inch, it's a 720p display. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, my eyes are going to bleed. We'll soon see, we will soon see. Now, it is an MTK, is it the MT, oh, it's the MT6753 octa-core at 1.3 gigahertz. It runs Android 5.1 out of the box. I don't know if they're going to be updates, the honest answer, I don't know. Uh, probably not, so don't expect them. If you get them, happy days. It runs 4G, so it'll run in 4G within the UK and most around the world. I don't think it'll run 4G in some American networks, so again, take that into consideration. That there are 3 gigabytes of RAM and 16 gigabytes internal memory. You see that? Eh? 16 gigabytes internal and 3 gig of RAM for 110 quid. Very, very impressive. And the cameras themselves is a 13 and a 5, but then it interpolates them up to a 16 and an 8. I don't know why companies do this, just... Tell us, the, you know, just use the main spec. Stop using interpolation. Um, I think it's, I think that's how you say it. Say it. And last but not least, she's got a 4,800 milliamp hour battery. What you said? Yes, 4,800 milliamp hours. Insane. And the company behind there is Shenzhen. Not a clue how you say that. Anyway, we're here to unbox it. I've been talking for ta far too long. You want to see what it looks like. It comes with two different colours. And you can get a white one, and I actually chose the blue one. Very, very nice colour, actually. Let's take that off to the side. First, you're going to be presented with a glass screen protector. Yes, inside your box, you get a glass screen protector. Bargain. And then you get your phone. And it comes in a very nice plastic little uh, sleeve here. So we'll just take it out of there. So I've left this on here for the purposes of today's video. So you can do it with me. You ready, people? Ah, oh, satisfying feeling. And again, that is a full 5.5 inch display. Stick that off to the side and stick a bit of plastic off as well. And very bare bones, you're going to get your micro USB cable, which you're going to use with that plug. So obviously the plug you got earlier, happy days. But guess what? <laughs> yeah. I know. You also get a case. A case and a glass screen protector inside the box. 110 quid. And look at that. Look at the colours you can see on there. It is a funky looking case and it's designed for the phone. So you're not just kind of getting, you know, getting like a universal one. You are getting one designed to fit that actual phone. This kind of stuff, when you think you spit, you pay like six, seven hundred pounds for like an iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy S7 and stuff like that. And then a phone for 110 quid or like a Qbox, 125 quid, comes with glass screen protectors and cases. It really makes you wonder, really makes you wonder. And then in here, you get your SIM ejector. Yep. And last but not least, you get your quick start guide. So again, very bare bones in terms of what you get inside the box, but look at all the information. And it's all nicely laid out as well. Again, very impressive for what you're getting for, again, not a lot of money. I know some places in the world it will be classed as a lot of money, but up to an iPhone, again, and again, I'm kind of going, and I'm going to compare it against like iPhones and the Galaxy devices for price. Because just think about what you're getting for that amount of money. But then when you get it for this kind of money, it's, it is pretty insane at times. So I'm just going to stick that box off to the side, bring the case in, stick that there, the actual phone itself, and this glass screen protector just to show you that, yes, it is a glass one. 
Well, if you can kind of hear that, it's not just a bit of plastic, it is a glass screen protector. I was like, what? So I'm gonna stick that on at a later date, see how, um, see how that performs. But what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna show you around this phone. So first off the bat, it is a weighty device. It is not a light phone, but it's not designed to be, again, 4,000 milliamp hours. To put that into context, um, a Galaxy S7, which has got a pretty large battery for its size, is 3,000. An, S, an S7 Edge is 3,600. An iPhone, I think the iPhone 6S is like 1,750. <sighs> yeah, insane. Majority of phones out there today come with 3,000 in a very similar kind of verse package in terms of the size. Again, it's not going to win any awards for how thin it is, but it feels chunky, it feels weighty, it feels... It feels premium, dare I say it. Again, metal all around the sides and plastic on the back. And look at that. Yes, we even get a fingerprint scanner. I don't know. But what funny thing, funny thing is that the actual name THL. And it means technology. If we can see that. There we go. Technology, happy life. Ah, didn't expect that, did you? Ah, I didn't either. <laughs> I know. So, let's take you around the phone and Sam shut up. Again, 5.5 inches uh, diagonally there. The front face camera is the 5 megapixel with the 13 on the back. You've got your LED flash, your fingerprint scanner, and then you've got your branding. And here's your speaker at the bottom of it here. So in terms of back facing speakers, it does look pretty large, but that could just be a design choice. We'll test that out in the actual review. On the bottom of the device, you've got your micro USB for charging and syncing. And you can probably see there, it's got the antenna lines, but they're coloured, so you can't actually see them really. You can just, they're a little bit of a dent on there. And the uh, main microphone. Going down the side, you get nothing until you get to the top. And that is where you're going to find your dual SIM. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, it is also a dual SIM phone. Crazy. And I believe micro SD card support, if I'm not, not um, incorrect. And on the top of it, your 3.5mm audio jack. And down this side, which is a bit different, you've got your volume up and down and your power button. So whereas most phones have the power button here, and maybe the volume up and down all on both on this side, like HTC, they've gone with having the power button on this side which I kind of kind of get a bit used to because I used normally use my thumb to turn my phone on or press like a home button. Now, it doesn't have any home button, so I'm going to have to get used to using that button there. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. I'll just kind of show you a bit more detail around with regards to that camera. So again, it's a 30 megapixel LED flash and there's that fingerprint scanner as well and THL. First things first, in terms of an unboxing, it's a very, very, it feels quality. To say you're not paying the three four hundred pounds, it doesn't feel like it's one hundred and ten pounds. Yeah, if you want to check one of these out or you want to pick one up, the links down below. You might want to wait for my kind of um, you know, kind of an overview of it. I'm gonna do a performance test. I'm also gonna be doing some camera samples. Stay tuned. There's gonna be about three, maybe four videos based upon different things about the phone, including my full review as well. Anyway, people, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to get off. I want to say thank you for watching. If you haven't got any questions about this, again, it is called the THL T7. There is a link down below. But really, you can ask me a question in the comments. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, because that's where you are. Yeah, believe it or not, you are there. <laughs> but no, you know, you know where to hit me up anyway. Oh, and just before I actually end the video really quickly, here's what it looks like in the case. That's pretty funky, huh? And I've also put the screen protector on as well. Actually, very impressive. Yeah. Okay, Sam, you can end it. Anyway, people, I do appreciate watching, and you'll hopefully, you'll see me playing with this bad boy in my next video. Subscribe. It's free. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.